<clears throat> All right, Shalom. Uh, my name is Lamad from the uh, GMS Watchman Philadelphia camp. Uh, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashemi Al Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and um, Shalom to all the um, you know sincere Akium doing the work of the Lord in truth and sincerity. Uh, today, um, I basically have just a couple of little precepts. You know, the point I wanted to make was. I guess I'm going to call this um, video, you know, grace to the humble. And it basically I have just about five scriptures. And, you know, these scriptures have to deal with, you know, the mentality that you want to have when you're in the truth. You know, because, you know, I'm going to read this first scripture. And it basically, you know, highlights the mentality that there is that us men in the know are supposed to have because we're supposed to be separated from the world. And, you know, the world basically... You know, they live a certain lifestyle and we're supposed to be sanctified. You know, we're supposed to be cleansed of the world, that worldly life and mentality that we once had when we was in the world. All right. So it says, this is our James chapter four, verse six. It says, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he saith, the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. And, you know, what is grace? Grace is basically the favor that the most high gives to the um, elect of the nation of Israel because ultimately, you know, the other uh, two thirds of our people, you know, um, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, um, you know, take this opportunity that we have right now to to take the grace of the Most High and to come back to the, um, you know, the Most High and seek Him. So grace is basically the Israelites, um, you know, basically if you look up that word and you basically, um, you know, um, extrapolate the not um, the meaning of the word, it basically means the favor that the Most High gives to the nation of Israel to build ourselves up in the um, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. All right, so by this grace period that we have, we're supposed to be, um, you know, learning the scriptures, you know, getting ourselves ready to, um, you know, Lord will if we're the elect to receive salvation. Okay, so it says He giveth, He giveth, but He giveth giveth more grace wherefore the most high resists of the proud and what is proud pride is basically um you know it's a sense of you know exalting yourself you know what i mean and you know that's not the mentality that we're supposed to have you know that's that's a quality or trait of you know esau and the other nations so it's not we're not supposed to be you know um acting in that manner you know we're supposed to always have a humble a humble you know vibe mentality about ourselves all the time so it says, but he giveth grace unto the humble and grace, you know, it's um, it's it's a gift. You know what I'm saying? So we're just not supposed to, you know, take that lightly. Um, I'm going to get on um, this next scripture. Um, this is on Galatians chapter five and twenty six. Galatians five and twenty six. This is on um, Galatians chapter five, verse twenty six. It says. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, and envying one another. So, you know, basically, we're not supposed to desire, uh, you know, vain glory. Vain, if you look up like vain, it means like something that's empty, you know, worthless, basically, that has no value, you know. So it says we're not supposed to be desirous of vain glory. Like examples of that is, you know, you got guys that, um, you know, like, for example, um, you know, the elders, they put out an order that we're not supposed to be on, you know, Facebook, Instagram and all that, all those social media sites. And, you know, you have guys that that, uh, you know, do that. And, you know, you know, the thing is, it's about, you know, edifying and trying to, you know, gather the elect. So, you know, getting even like on YouTube, you know, getting um, trying to get all these hits, worrying about, you know, um, trying to like emulate other speakers to be you know everybody to say good video and all this stuff like that you know we're supposed to do it to to uh you know feed the elect and in a humble spirit you know that all that stuff is is, is vain it doesn't it doesn't matter you know so you know that's something that you want to keep in mind you know younger brothers you know coming up in the truth you know it's all about it's all about you know saving um gathering the elect you know you're not trying to be the next you know malcolm x or or martin luther king or nothing like that it's not about that you know so um it's a uh, sirach salagi i'm sorry um let us not be desires of vain glory provoking one another envying one another you know so and that's another thing too you're not supposed to be uh jealous of anybody else you know what i'm saying like some brothers 
you know, their, their gift is speaking, you know, some brothers, they're good at, you know, graphic designs and all this stuff like that. So, you know, whatever your talent is, whatever your lot is, you know, you know, that's your job. It's every, everything is important. Just like, you know, in Esau's army, you know, he has different, um, different, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Um, you know, you have different ranks, different, um, different, you know, like you have like the, the army, the Navy, the air force, the Marines, the, um, the, uh, air force and all this, you know, they're all different branches, but they all, you know, they're all equally important because their goal is to, you know, win the war or whatever. And it's basically like, you know, it's basically what we're doing is we're fighting a spiritual battle, you know? So every, um, you know, every, everybody's role is important. So, you know, don't be caught up in, um, you know, this vain glory that I'm talking about, you know, this is, um, Sirach, Sirach, chapter 10, verse two, I mean, it's like 10 verse 12. It says, the beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high and his heart is turned away from his maker. Um, yeah, so pride, exaltation, arrogance, insolence, self-esteem, the beginning of pride, the beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high. So, you know, basically, just like I was saying, Yahweh Shai, there's no, you know, there's no time where you could say that he was, um, you know, exhibited the traits of pride. You know, we're supposed to basically emulate, you know, walk in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And, you know, the scriptures say that he was, um, he was made, you know, basically, um, in a low state as, as, um, you know, as man, you know what I'm saying? Just so he could, just, just so we could see how, um, you know, he could manifest how you're supposed to live and conduct yourself and all this, you know, he knew that he was going to be the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and he was going to, um, you know, rule, rule on, um, this, you know, have his own kingdom, but he didn't act all, you know, proud with it. He had a humble spirit. Um, let's see, keep going. All right, so uh, next time we get is Proverbs 12 15. So, Proverbs 12 15. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 15. It says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. All right, and that's another thing too. You know, you got to be humble enough to like listen to people. You know, when they're trying to um, tell you something that's going to benefit you. You know, rebuke. You know, the scripture says, "Open rebuke is better than secret love." So, if somebody's telling you something to do, you know, you're supposed to be. You know, you're supposed to be willing to correct it, or to you know, um, look at yourself and see. You know, because you know, the thing is, we're in the flesh. You know, what I'm saying, and we go off sometimes. Sometimes we get emotional. Sometimes we, you know. Um, you know, don't don't have sometimes, you know, some brothers, they have, a, um, uh, you know, they have to learn more, you know, to control their spirit. So, you know, but scripture says, um, Proverbs 12 and 15, it says the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise, you know, so you got to listen to brothers that are wiser than you, you know, if you're coming into the truth. And somebody that's been in here a number of years is trying to break something down to you. And, you know, you, 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 you know, you watch all these other, you know, you got a lot of Israelite groups out here and they're basically, you know, spewing um, false information that's appearing real. So, you know, you, you got to, um, you know, you got to consider these things, you know what I'm saying? Because um, it was, you know, situations where I know that younger brothers might have talked to brothers that were in the truth longer and they might have watched, you know, you got a lot of people that <clears throat> make these videos and you know they they don't really know what they're talking about you know and that's the thing you know like as far as vain glory too the whole thing is getting the word across you know what i'm saying is it doesn't matter all these extravagant you know um um hollywood production videos and all this stuff like i remember you know the most the, the old school apostles of great millstone videos you know they were like you know a camera like mine i have a bad a low quality camera you know it was shot with low co quality cameras but it's like what they were saying was was the most important thing you know you can't get caught up in all that stuff that stuff is just vain you know having a super super um you know high quality you know um 
intro and all that stuff like that. Like, it's kind of just vain. The main thing is the message of what we're saying, what we're trying to deliver to others, you know. So you got to keep all that stuff in consideration. Um, all right. So uh, and the next thing, you know, I'm, I'm just going to end it off on this. You know, this is a, a scripture that, you know, can apply to anybody, whether you're, you know, new in the truth or, you know, if you've been in the truth for a number of years, because one of the things that we have to do is. We have to constantly, constantly, you know, examine ourselves. Slide here. You know, we have to constantly, you know, examine ourselves and we got to ask ourselves, you know, are, is what we're doing, the you know, the right thing, you know what I'm saying? According to the scriptures, everything that we do, we have to examine ourselves on a day to day basis. Yeah, on a day-to-day -day basis. Because, you know, like the scriptures say, you know, we're supposed to meditate, meditate on the scriptures. Meditate on the scriptures day day and night because, you know, it's, it's easy, you know, just like I'm saying, we're in the flesh. And it's, you know, it's easy to go off, you know what I'm saying? But, Slacky, bear with me for a second. Hold up. <clears throat> it's easy to go off. Oh, shit. I think I know what to do. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. But, um, you know, like, um, you know, like the scripture that I wanted to get was it was basically saying, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith, except you be reprobate. So, you know, reprobate is basically referring to, um, you know, somebody that's void of judgment. And, you know, us being in the truth, we're supposed to be wise. We're supposed to know all things. So, you know, you, you're not supposed to be in that state of mind. You're supposed to be constantly examine yourselves to see whether whether or not if what you're doing is the right thing so like you know like i was saying earlier the whole point is the most high resisteth the proud but he gives his grace unto the humble so if you have a humble spirit you're going to constantly be examining yourselves and you're going to constantly be getting on yourselves thinking are you doing the right thing according to the scriptures all right so um you know with that hope i wasn't um ranting too much or whatever but um you know, with that, I hope this is edifying, and um, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and uh, shalom to all the brothers out there. You know, laboring in true sincerity and sincerity. Um, you know, keeping their garments um into the end. All right, shalom.